Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy. Um, this is not really like an art art video, but I'm organizing my Prismas. I've had them in this tub for forever now, ever since uh, we've moved. And, uh, and I'm going through them and organizing them, and this is kind of boring, but I thought you guys could come along with me on the journey. Also, um, these cubicles that I got are from Daiso Japan, and I'm pretty sure they have an online store. Daiso is only like a, uh, a West Coast thing, and I wish we had them out in, uh, out in Eastern side of the state, like in Pennsylvania, where I'm from. That would be amazing. They're kind of like a dollar store Japan, so I think each of these costs me a dollar, and there's four of them, and they stack, which is great. Like, everything at Daiso stacks. <laughs> like, all their containers. They have a whole back wall that's nothing but containers, and they all stack. Um, so I'm going to make some noise for a second. I'm just going to, like, get all my pens out and put them up on the, uh, up on my desk. I should have done this before I started filming. But here we are. I wonder what I can use that container for now that I don't have it for my markers. So you may disagree with some of my organization, but you're not using these. So I don't care. So all my pinks and reds go up here. My only fear is that if we have a really bad earthquake, these things are coming out. <laughs> They are coming to see me. See, like, these are both considered red. They're poppy red and carmine red from Prismacolor. I don't know if you can see these or not. But, like, this is more of, like, an orange to me. So when I see the end of that, I'm going to think that's an orange. And I'm going to be like, why is it in here? And I'm going to keep moving it over. So, and that's, like, more red. But, like, this, I don't even know what this is. Po yeah, this is poppy red too, so that should be over there for me. But the rest of it is they're kind of like, there's like some really like lipsticky reds in here that are kind of like more brown red that I'm so tempted to move down here into my browns, but I'm going to leave them for now. And I think once I actually start um, working with them, I think what I'll do is... Um, I'll just put them back wherever I think they should go without, because I know like once I start drawing with them, I won't be thinking about where they should go. I'll just start putting them back in the colored spot that I think they should be at. So um, there's also some Copics mixed in here, and um, the Co Copics are um, these ones that are like all white, with and they're kind of um, oval shaped at the end rather than I. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Yeah, they're kind of like oval shaped rather than round shaped. And they're white instead of like black. Um, and these are the really old Copics. I don't know what they look like now. I got these Copics when I was like 14 or 15 and I'm 28 now. So I'll tell you how old they are. But most of them are still pretty good. Some of them have been refilled. I need to um, like kind of go through them though. Uh, I bought a bunch of address labels, like teeny little address labels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like color, um, uh, I'm gonna color them and then I'm gonna like stick them on here, uh, especially for the Copics because I think the Copics, the, the green, um, or like the uh, the colored caps like on the screen here are not as accurate as they are now. Um, sorry, Copic. <laughs> I always thought Copics dried a little darker or a little lighter than what they actually were. But the Prismas seem like they're pretty spot on. Like the end cap on the Prismas is pretty much the way they look. So. Oh man, this blue, the sky blue, has been refilled like four times. This was like one of my favorite colors to use growing up. 
it was funny because back in the day, back when Pris or Copics first came out, they didn't have like official refill kits. They had, um, oh, they had like uh, these colored, um, these like refill kits, but they were just like, you just kind of like squirted it, or I think you were supposed to like kind of touch the tip with it or something, or like take the whole, um, like, cartridge out on one end. I forget how you do it now. It's been so long. Yeah, you were like supposed to take this out and then you like put the thing in and and they can't, he had like a special needle that you were supposed to use and everything. So like, um, and it was all really expensive, of course, because they were so new and bar barely anybody was like refilling them except professionals and stuff. And so what I had did was I, my mom worked at the hospital. I had her get me, um, old, or not old, oh my god, um, like syringes that weren't going to be used, so technically like old, like they were past expiry, I don't know, but she would get them for me and then get me, um, gloves from the hospital and I would sit in the bathroom and with the gloves on I'd carefully take the tips out and then I would fill up the syringes with tons of ink and go and like inject it down in and make a mess. But I think, uh, you can clean it up with alcohol. I remember <laughs> buying like little nail polish removers to <laughs> clean up the uh, the barrel so I didn't have like ink all over them. <sighs> These markers have traveled all over the place with me. I actually have a whole bunch more gray markers I need to bring up from up or from downstairs. I uh, oh, that's a blender. I never use the blenders, but I'm more of like a um, a cell shader. <laughs> so wait, are these these are browns? And these are my grays, purple, pink excuse me, mulberry and dark purple on his clothes. Um, I think the Copics are kind of throwing them off a little bit because some of them are like sitting like that, like they're tilted downwards. So I think that's the Copics. I have a lot of the same ones. Oh man, another clear blender. A, uh, a Prisma Clear Blender. I didn't even know I had that. These are all my brunes down here. That's brun. Light Walnut. kind of interesting to see them like this because now I kind of know which ones I need more of. I need more. See like all these French grays, I keep putting in the brown because French grays tend to be on the warmer side. Deco orange, light tan, and salmon pink aka brown. They're all brown. <laughs> I might pull out a few of the more like orangey or yellow ones and kind of migrate them up into the less filled um, capsules or Shiloh, don't don't be licking your chops. Dark amber, cool gray, cool gray. What are you? Because you don't look like you should be in here. Pearl white. No, you should be in there. Light umber, French gray, warm gray, French gray, all brown. I got a lot of brown. I must not use it as much. Oh man, I can't even fit any more in there. Okay, a few yins are coming out. Sand. Okay, sand can go up here and be with the oranges. 
and bronze can be a yellow. And what's this? Walnut can be an orange. That's okay. Good. So, I actually have a bunch of other stuff that I need to organize as well, and I'll show you here what I mean. I'm going to move the camera, please don't get dizzy, and then I'm going to tilt you all down like that. Sorry, this is not like the most professional ever, but it'll do. So I have um, these, which are... Uh, Faber or Faber Castell um, skin tone pens, and they're big and fat, and I don't know what to do with them. There's only four of them, though. This is all that came with them. Um, they're okay, you know. Like, I don't like that they're sort of a pain to shade darker skin tones, like anything past sort of like sunburn. Like, look at this color. This doesn't say skin to me. This just says sunburn. <laughs> so like you get these three, which are good for like, a, like my, my skin tone, like a, a white person. But if you wanted to do a black person or anybody with like even slightly darker skin than like pale as a fucking ghost, you, uh, yeah. You don't have them. This is it. So I don't know what to um, what to do with these. I also have these, which are Crayola. Um, sorry for all the dog hair. By the way. Ooh, so not professional. I should probably cat hair up here. These are are these Crayola? Yeah, they're Crayola brush pens. These things are awesome. I got them at the uh, grocery store in the. Uh, like, you know, where they have all the, the cards and the uh, the stationery and whatnot. I found these in there and I thought they were awesome. So, let me show you. I have a teeny sketchbook here. I can fix it an empty page. Just use the red, it's my favorite. You can do these, like, really cool... Lines. I don't know. I just think those are so neat. Uh, I could do like I don't know. I think they're cool. I, I've like never seen anything like these from Crayola before. So like I want to find some way to organize these, all five of them. Like, I need, like, a special, like, extraneous marker slash pen thing. And then I got, um, the, er, and then I have these, which are, um, just general Crayola markers. And I know you're, like, thinking to yourself, come on, I mean, you're a professional, why are you using Crayolas? But, like, seriously, if you're just, like, doodling or whatever, you don't want to, like, be busting out your, your prismas, your good markers, which dry up in, like, ten seconds, you know? You want to, like, um, you want to be using stuff that's kind of cheap. Sorry, Crayola. <laughs> but, I mean, honest to God. So, I have those. Let me move all this away. I need to organize. I need to like find cups or something. I got these when I went to um, Sequoia and they're pretty bad. I'm sorry Sequoia. They're like um, you twist them which is kind of cool. They're supposed to be crayons like grease crayons but sorry the camera's jingling a little bit. I don't have it in the best position for this. They're so light like Look how dark the pen is. You can barely even see that, I bet, on camera. Like, they're really just not very good. In fact, I should probably pitch them. They're okay for, like, some shading, I guess. Like, but, like, that is so light. They're, like, some of the worst crayons I've ever used. 
what else do I have? I got a new set of um, Stetlers. Let me just move that for a minute. So these are just your regular old um, Stetler pencils. They're they're pretty nice. Um, I haven't been doing any like real hard for sketching, but my favorites are the H's. Uh, sorry about that. The, my favorites are the the H's and the F in combination with like one dark pencil to use as like inking. Um, I just think it looks nice, and I don't have any. I don't have any drawings like that around, but that's, in college, that's what I would always do. I would, like, sketch something out in red pencil, and then I'd go over it with a, a dark pencil, one of the Bs, like, probably, like, a 4 or 5B. The 6B is almost, like, a charcoal, um, and then I would use, like, the uh, H's to, to shade them, because they were pretty light shades, so that was always fun. And then I have these. These are Crayola um, erasable colored pencils. Uh, they're, again, they're okay. They're pretty light, which is probably something to do with the erasing mechanic. And they're, I actually kind of like the designs of the pencils. They have this, like, um, erased out middle, which I think is, is cool, sorry. Um, I'm used to the camera being a little better. Let me, uh, Turn it down a little bit because I keep. Yeah, sorry for like. Here, I'll show you one little thing I do in my drawer, my desk drawer. I keep a. Uh, I keep a lint roller because I'm that kind of. I know a lot of people this probably wouldn't bother at all, but I don't like to see hair ever. So I've forced myself to live with a bunch of animals as permanent hell and torture on earth. But yeah, I can't stand it. I try to like stick it up all the time. Like, I don't want to rip it off on camera though because it's loud and annoying. But yeah, I like roll my desk off all the time. Anyway, little side tip thing. So I got these, uh... <clears throat> <laughs> I've got these pencils, and they just don't, I don't know, they don't erase very well. Do something like that, and then like, I lie, they erase pretty great actually. You just really have to like, press to get that color. So, there you go, never mind, I'm a big fat liar. And I like at the bottom of the box, they have like a little cutout where you can see the erasers, like, we're not lying. You're not going crazy. There are erasable colored pencils. And then this nightmare. This is one of a three-part organizer I have, and it is just filled to the brim with nonsense. Look at this. I mean, like, what am I going to do here? Um... Some of these are like regular writing pens. Look at all these little eraser heads. Little teeny David Lynch films. Um, then I've got like white colored pencils and chalk pencils that I was experimenting with and none of which I've really... Like, you know how people will put um, shines in their character's eyes with like um, gel pens or um, uh, paint pens and stuff. I've always tried to do that and it never works. Like, so I have all these like white pens and pencils and white out and it's just nightmare land. I'm not even sure where to put these. Like I need to get another 17 jars or something <laughs> for all of this. Look at that. Look, little kind of organizing like the garbage out I guess. So writing pen. Here's a uh, an ink pen. Like I don't know if you can see that tip there. So, look how swollen my hands look. I don't know why they look like that. <clears throat> Do surgery on film. Okay. Oh you want to see something really crazy? This is totally random. Look at this bump that's formed. I don't know if you can see that or not. I have a huge bump on that finger because it's 
I hold my pen against it, <laughs> and I've been doing that for years, ever since I was a wee little babu. So I've got these, which are Derwart graphics, which are drawing pencils that come with the same lead variations as um, as the Faber Castells or Faber Castells. Um, wait, is that the ones I got? Or no, the Stettlers. Sorry, the Stettlers. Um, they're okay. They just have like a different feel, like when you hold them, you know, they have like a hexagonal kind of thing where I think the, the, no, the favors do too, but these are, this is more of a dramatic, um, well, I don't even know if you could see that or not. It's more of a dramatic pitch to the angles there, so it does feel a little different when you hold it. It's more blocky than a stellar. Um... And also the, the wood grain feels different, like the, the actual grain within the pencil is like, it's kind of gritty compared to like the Stellar's. Um, where can I put these? I guess I'll put them back in the container. And then a fan was nice enough to send me, I can't remember if they sent me the, the Stettler Blues. These are my Stettler Blues. Um, they're animation pencils. Or if they sent me these um, Sanford Blues, which have the eraser on the end. Some of them are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they sent me these ones. Because I, I ran out of blue pencils. And they were like, oh, hey, I'll send you some. And they sent me like a sack of them. And I was like, calm down, man. I don't need this many. I'm not trying to build a log cabin out of blue pencils. So now I've got all these Sanfords. And I don't know what to do with all of them. I've only sharpened one. I've only used one so far. So I might have used two, actually. I have a, um, I don't know if I've shown you my nightmare box. Let me pull it out here. Oh, this is cool. This is a uh, mechanical pencil I got, but it has red, red lead in it. So that's neat. So let me show you my nightmare box. <laughs> this is a box that I um Oop. got a little higher. Look down. <laughs> Look down into the nightmare. This is a, a box I got that I think a, a tea brewer came in, but I uh, I painted it black. It used to be like a light blue color. I painted it black because everything I own has to be black. And this is like where all the sad little destroyed pencils and stuff go. So this is like, again, more nightmare fuel. Look at, these are like my severely used Stettlers from college. They're all, some of them are so short. Look how teeny that is. I have a pencil extender. I think it's in another box. This was, this 2B I used for everything. This was like, some of these, I'm kind of sad to see them in here because they're really good pencils, but <laughs> like, girl, you don't need so many. There's kids who need pens all over the world and you have all of them. Yeah, so like, these I never got into. This is a, a, um, a Tech DA from Italy and it's a, a lead holder. And um, you, like, you unscrew the end, and there's four holders that kind of like telescope open, and then you put the lead down in, and then you screw it shut, and then you get this. And this is the kind of lead it uses. And I just, it's okay, but it's such a pain. Like, eh. <laughs> I just, I don't, when I'm drawing and stuff, if I get to the end of a pencil, I don't want to have to like unscrew something and like put the lead in and screw it back shut. It's like, come on. In fact, I got these, I think, in my school bookstore. In fact, that's like uh, one of the price tags from Edinburgh where I went to school. So um, I think these are more like, look how filthy it is from being in my old art box. I think these are more like 
um, for mechanical drawing anyway. Look at that one dark lead in there. He had me. He said, don't tell them where I am. So yeah, I have that, but it's like, I don't want to be doing that. I just want to cram it into a machine and have that sharpen it for me. Eh, some red pen. I like red pens a lot, actually. I, I tend to use them when I'm doing layouts. In fact, there's like three chapters of Trying Human that are all laid out in red pen because <laughs> I didn't feel like switching to a black pen. There's another Durwert. This is mechanical. I think I'm going to put writing pens and mechanical pencils together. Look how teeny. So teeny. Teeny. Uh, let's see. Prismacolor, true blue. I'm putting all the pencils over here. I don't want to like... This is so special. I, I don't want to put the mechanical pencil in with those, but I don't want to put it in with my blues. I will make a pile for reds. Oh, these are awesome, by the way. I wish I had more of them. These are, and I, you can see how awesome they are. You could use them down into like little nubs. Um, Classroom Select, I guess is the name of the company, but they sell pencils that are red on one side and blue on the other. And what's great about this is you sketch in one color and then you, again, ink or finish in the other color so like you go over top of it with the other color and then when you um, scan it into Photoshop you tell it to exclude one or the other depending on which one you like if you sketched with um, red uh, you tell it to exclude all red and then all you see is the blue in, in black or gray scale and it's awesome so you can see I've used those into oblivion. It's they're so good. The blue, I remember the blue and the red felt so good, like just the way it worked. So that will go over there. And blue and blue and blue and blue. Pencil, pencil, pencil. Here's some more of my <laughs> I wear them down so low. I have a pen, like I said, I have a pencil holder. This is another good. I don't even know what company this is, but this was a really good um, pencil as well. And I never really used the eraser, but I the blue was good, real good. I have good memories with some of these little guys. These were real good to me. Oh, here's another one. Can I see the logo? No. I got it in my college bookstore, though, so. Go to my college, go to the bookstore, you can probably still get them. They don't change stock, I'm afraid. Um, this is a design drawing 3802B. Somebody probably gave it to me. Woodless graphite. Oh, that's weird. I I apparently enjoyed using them because one is worn way down. Like sometimes I pick up old pencils and I'm like, ew, I would never use this. And I find another one and I'm like, oh, never mind, I was lying. I apparently loved it to bejeebus and back. Here's another one. Another, what's it called? Something graphite? I don't know. Woodless graphite? Let's try it out. It's okay. I mean, it's just a pencil. I must have, maybe I used them to animate with? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, maybe because of that I use them. Because you can kind of like lay it down on its side and there's no uh, there's no wood to stop you from going and kind of doing the side. Oh, the side swivelly shading thing. By the way, this is a Stratmore sketchbook made of the teeniest teenies. I was playing around with it the other day. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure these are those crayons from, um, Sequoia National Park. And this is Crayola, little toffee apple girl, and that's just regular pen. It was kind of inspired by Beetlejuice when the 
they're making those weird alien monster faces or whatever to scare the family out of the house. Here's some other pens. These are Copics. These, uh, let me see if I can find them all. They actually still work. <laughs> I bought these a million years ago and never really used them, and I don't remember why. I think maybe they didn't um, actually ink as well as I thought they would. Um, but I can't say for sure what that means. <laughs> um, and I don't remember if they're waterproof or not. I have a uh, cheat sheet here in my watercolor box. Let me look real quick. This is my cheat sheet and I add to it in like test pens and then I take a water brush and go over it. Um, no, they're not on here. Uh, so maybe I never actually tried them out. Huh. But the uh, pencils are not, this surprises me, pencils are not, or pencils, not pencils, pencils are not waterproof. But Faber-Castells and Microns and Stettlers and obviously Sharpie. Sharpie's always been, but yeah, Pigmas and Pentols, those are Japanese brands and they're not um, waterproof. Not happy about that. So there's probably a good chance Copics aren't and that might be why I never use them. And I, when I, uh, a lot of times when I ink, I want to use Prismas or I want to use watercolor to go over my art and if they're not waterproof then we aren't even talking. Hey, can I put, put these in here into my nightmare box? Yep. Well then, I think this might become my new pen box. We'll put all my ink and pens in here. Just cram them in there. Everybody's going into the nightmare box. <laughs> Sorry guys. I have to make room on my desk. I'm trying to get more organized with my pens and pencils because right now I just kind of grab anything that comes my way to draw with and that's not always great, especially if I'm trying to do something really specific and then like I draw myself into a corner. I do this awesome drawing but the ink's not waterproof or it's not um, pen proof or whatever and then I'm like, oh. What else do I have that I can put in here? I mean, sorry for the loud sounds, by the way. Yeah, these are too, those are too long. That's kind of sad. Too long. What about any of these? Now this little kit, I don't want to get too wild about like completely cleaning up. This is my little kit that I use when I'm doing layouts. So I don't want to get rid of like every single pen in here, but like... Permanent fine. So I can put that in there. I'll leave the Sharpie. Yeah, okay, that's good. So this can now probably close. Yeah, I can close now. That's great. Wow, I can close the container. So good. Um, but I don't want to stack it for the stars, that's for sure. Look at this huge beast. <laughs> so this is so funny to me. And it's, I don't even know if Sharpie does this anymore, but they started making these which are um, Sharpies that are like pens. So you, oh man, that's really stiff too. I, I don't know if I've ever knows that. I don't even know if you can see that. Whoop, there it goes. So they make these, but I'm not really sure what the point is. It's like, let me show you a regular Sharpie and you'll kind of see what I mean. So like, 
this is an old Sharpie, it's filthy, just ignore the filth. <laughs> but like, look how much longer that is. And I know that doesn't seem like much, but if you're trying to fit it into like a box or a container or something, I just, oh, the only upside I can think of this is this clip. So if you were like, you wanted to hook it in your pocket, you know, on your shirt front or whatever, I can totally understand that. But, um, well, wait, no, Sharpies have that. Oh my god, I just, what is the point of you? I don't understand, you're so long and bulky and you're hard to click out. Sharpies, send me a bunch of Sharpies, make me feel better. <laughs> I, I, I think I, I don't know why I bought this. And also, I'd be so scared that, oh no, there's like a little door in there. That's clever. Look at that, I've never noticed that before. Let me see if I can show you at the end. Boop. Boop, like a little door, like a little trap door. But I keep him in my drawer over there so he's not part of the group. And I use silver Sharpies to sign all my books and stuff so that'll go in there too. Hmm. <sighs> well, I'm finally kind of getting things organized. Now I've got a mess on my desk though. I need containers. Oh, and I don't even want to get started on my paintbrushes. I have paintbrushes forever, everywhere. Look at that. There's paintbrush. And if I swivel over, uh, which I can't really. So there's like a plastic container over there. You can just barely see it out of frame. So yeah, great. But there's all, all the markers all done up nice. And there's my tape holder. Yay. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. Sorry we just kind of like yibby gabbed and didn't do much, but yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll have a tutorial or something coming here soon, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!